The 2012-2013 sports season is over and 18 different sports crowned champions. I'm Glenn Deemer and this is Inside the Sun Belt. However, before we look ahead to the action when school starts in the fall, it's time to take a quick look back. We knew the football season was going to be exciting when in week two, Louisiana Monroe went to Arkansas and beat the then eighth ranked Razorbacks in overtime. Then the next week, Western Kentucky upstaged its in-state rival Kentucky 32-31 in overtime. That just set the stage for a great season. Fittingly enough, the conference championship all came down to the final weekend. 6-1 Middle Tennessee playing 6-1 Arkansas State. The winner takes the title. The Red Wolves jumped all over the Blue Raiders, scoring on their first five possessions. Arkansas State wins the Sun Belt Championship with a 45-0 win. In volleyball, it was a season to remember for Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers went undefeated in conference play at 15-0 and won their second straight Sun Belt title. But they also had wins over two nationally ranked teams and recorded the program's first NCAA tournament victory. In soccer, three teams finished the regular season with eight one and one marks, North Texas, Middle Tennessee, and FIU. But it was North Texas earning the tournament's number one seed and the Mean Green went on to win the Sun Belt title with a 1-0 win over FIU. In other fall championships, UALR won the men's cross-country title with Joseph Chabet of Western Kentucky, the individual champion. For the women, Georgia State takes the team title, and the Panthers' Katherine Showalter took the individual crown. On to basketball, where Middle Tennessee won a lot of games. That's men and women. The men won 28 games overall, 19 conference games, and at one point, 17 straight all-school records. But in the Sun Belt Tournament, the Blue Raiders ran into FIU. The Panthers beat the Blue Raiders in the semifinals to earn the right to play in the championship game. However, in the title game, Western Kentucky proved to be too much for the Panthers, and the Hilltops won 65-63 in an exciting contest and claimed the Sun Belt automatic berth in the NCAA Tournament. As we mentioned earlier, it was also a great season for the women of Middle Tennessee. They won 25 games overall, 17 in the conference, and won their fifth straight regular season title. They followed that up with a win in the Sun Belt Tournament and a school record fifth straight berth in the NCAA Tournament. In the other winter sports, Western Kentucky won the men's indoor track and field championship. It was the Hilltoppers' second straight title. Arkansas State won the title for the women, the Red Wolves' first since 1998. And Western Kentucky came from behind on the final day to earn the Women's Swimming and Diving Championship, its ninth title for the Toppers. There were 10 champions crowned in spring sports. In baseball, four teams won more than 40 games. South Alabama and Troy had the best records in Sun Belt play, but come tournament time, it was Florida Atlantic coming on strong and winning the championship 16-8 over Louisiana Lafayette. It was the Owls' first in Sun Belt play. In softball, three teams won 43 games or more during the season. Western Kentucky took 20 in Sun Belt play to earn the regular season title. But in the conference tournament, it was second-seeded South Alabama taking the crown with a 2-0 win over the Hilltoppers, the 16th straight win for the Jaguars. In golf, FIU had three players in the top five and won the Women's Tournament Championship over Middle Tennessee. For the men, North Texas came from behind on the final day and won the title by five shots over Georgia State. In tennis, the Georgia State men's team came back from a 3-0 deficit in the championship match and defeated Middle Tennessee, the Panthers' first Sun Belt title. For the women, North Texas won for the second consecutive year. The Mean Green beat Georgia State in the championship match. And in outdoor track and field, North Texas won its second consecutive women's championship, beating out second place Arkansas State. Ball for the men, a big push on the final day, earned Middle Tennessee the team title, also edging out Arkansas State. Congratulations again to all the champions. Now it's time to look ahead to the 2013-2014 season, which, by the way, will be here before you know it. And that's your look inside the Sun Belt. I'm Glenn Dean.